Meanwhile, we are learning more about a woman who was killed when a Broward Sheriff's fire rescue helicopter crashed into her apartment in Pompano Beach. And Local 10 Sanella Sabovic spoke with grieving family members today, and she's live now with much more. Sanella. Calvin and Nicole, I do also want to mention that NTSB crews, they have been here on scene for a good part of the day investigating, sifting through that wreckage, trying to figure out what went wrong here. And as you mentioned, we are learning more about the victims who sadly lost their lives in this crash. I do want to get you to a new video that we shot from you from Sky 10. This is a look at the crash site here in Pompano Beach. You can see, again, what is left of that mangled Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue helicopter after it came crashing down into an apartment complex and then burst into flames. Several apartments, as you can see from this video, also destroyed as crews sifted through that debris and wreckage. Pieces of the charred chopper were being removed and placed on this flatbed truck. And then this next bit of video, you can see some parts and pieces of that helicopter just scattered across the property like this tail rotor. And we're also learning more about the female victim that passed away. Family members have identified her as 65-year-old Lorreen Wheaton. She was in her home when the chopper crashed. A cousin tells me that she was from South Carolina and a good part of her family is still out there, that she came here to South Florida with her husband. They retired here, that she was a kind woman, very giving, and always kept her family together. They are still in shock over her passing and they're extremely devastated, understandably so. And another family in mourning is the Jackson family. 50 year old fire captain Terrison Jackson also died in the accident. He was a father, a 19 year veteran with Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue. Sheriff Gregory Tony said that he was one of the best and brightest. And Jackson's siblings also tell us that he died a hero, that he always wanted to help people out. In this next bit of video, you can see that two other crew members, 37-year-old Darren Roche and 31-year-old Mike Chaguaseda, they were also with Jackson in the chopper. They managed to crawl out of that burning helicopter. Cell phone video shows them on the roof of the apartment complex with residents helping them get down. They, along with two brothers, were taken to Broward Health North for treatment. And back out live, we do know that the two brothers have been discharged from the hospital. At last check, the crew members still remain there at Broward North. And Sheriff Tony did hold a press conference not too long ago. He did mention that it is imperative to get this chopper replaced. My colleague Roy Ramos will have more on that press conference coming up on Local 10 News at 6. That is the very latest here from Pompano Beach. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.